All right, so even here with the, the lines that go, again, I'm sweating now. Um, this is, this was iced over. This is actually iced over. So that is the line that goes out to the outdoor air conditioner. Yeah, completely white iced, just frozen. So I expect it. it's, it's thawing out now. That was an hour ago. I wish I would have let you see that earlier, but uh, yeah, just a white, you know, just it's like ice, white ice. So I wanted to check and make sure there was cold air coming out of the vents. Um, felt there was no cold air. Matter of fact, there was no air coming out at all. So at that point, I figured it was uh, something wrong with the blower. So we wanted to check that. So what I did was I put the, it was in the auto position. Uh, so what I did was I just put it into the fan position Actually, I had someone do that while I went downstairs and listened to hear uh, if the blower would come on. And so they put it in the on position and I didn't hear the blower come on. So let's take a look at it. So here's the blower to our furnace. I've got the door, just the panel of it. It wasn't like this, but I just have it like this now. It's kind of hanging in place. So um, actually it looks pretty nasty in there, but it's really not that bad on the blower. We do keep our filters changed out um, and you can see it's pretty clean there's no there's no like a uh, build up of uh, dust hair that kind of stuff uh, wiring is pretty uh, pretty healthy looking I think all right so once I had them turn the power uh, the fan back off or put it in auto um, I got like a piece of uh, I had it like found a uh, like rolling paper, uh, Christmas paper stuff uh, that you roll presents in, the centerpiece of that cardboard, and I just pushed the fan to see if it would turn, and it turned uh, freely, so I could tell that it wasn't like froze up, froze up. Um, so I got the smell going on, a strong smell, kind of a burning smell. Uh, I'm thinking it's this right here, the capacitor. I'm very um unfamiliar with this uh fan and whole process actually because i haven't worked on any of this stuff ever the only thing i've done is just light the pilot light and kind of vacuum uh in here every year to make sure that you know our furnace is working and this has really been a good unit uh, it's actually about uh it's it's the original unit of this home we've got the breaker off to this fan uh, I've double checked twice, checked the thermostat upstairs, and I've got the uh, fuse box. I got the fuse uh, turned off. Uh, now there could be some live electricity still stored in that capacitor. This is what we're going to look at the capacitor. And uh, so I want to be very cautious and we'll wear gloves, got some eye protection. Uh, I'm going to grab a screwdriver when I get this tape off and maybe we can discharge it. So I have no idea what it's going to look like. So uh, let's just keep plodding along here. All right, so we've got a little capacitor. There's all the specs. I don't know how to read that. Uh, so we've got two wires here. We've got a the white stripe going to... Uh, the left side and I don't see any anything saying what that is and then we get the solid uh, brown going to the uh, the right side so I'm going to try to filming this to help uh, put this back go ahead and grab one of these using these insulated I'm going to have to use my other hand I'm just going to pull one off all right, got it pulled off. Now I see why there's so much tape. It's just these were so long, they didn't want them to drag, and they just wanted to kind of put them up here neatly. So uh, that makes sense now. So I'm going to discharge this. I'm going to use these needle nose pliers. That's been a, it's been a 24 hours or so since uh, we've had the furnace turned off. And nothing, so that's cool. All right, so I'm going to go try to figure out 
where I can order one of these. And we will, uh, I don't know what the date, I saw 2002, so that's uh, it's 20 years. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll go try to get one of these, find one of these, and we will uh, get back later. Just got our new capacitor and uh, wanted to take a look at it. Now, um, after watching other videos, it's a good idea to make sure that it's not holding a charge. So, I need a screwdriver here. Alright, so uh, let's take a look at it. Here's the brand. See a cell number here. All right, let's go try it out. Let's see if we can uh, install it. And uh... so here we are at the furnace with our new capacitor. Uh, I had to go back and check. I uh, had to look back at a video. So yeah, we had looking at the back side. Of the capacitor on this left post right here we had the uh, the brown and white so I'll just put that on there you also want to say that the breaker is uh, still off so here's that brown and white wire doing is wrong but as far as putting it what at which angle yeah we'll just put it on there like that um, so there it is now um, I'm going to probably go ahead and tape it up like they did even before trying it out uh, reason being is I could try it out right now by you know putting the uh, breaker on turning the uh, thermostat on uh, in the hall where, where it's at and uh, testing the fan now but I'm afraid if I do I won't be able to really handle this comfortably so I'll go ahead and just tape it up and the reason that they had it taped up here because there's a possibility as you can see with the rust here there may be flooding and I guess if we like leave it you know exposed to any water then we could really have a, a bad situation so um, yeah, all this has been, uh, whenever rain comes in, there's a possibility that, you know, water could 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 get in here, as you see, it's you know, some rust there, everything else really healthy about this. But uh, we'll go ahead and tape it up, and I've got my tape here, electrical tape. All right, uh, yeah, just taped it off. So uh, just uh, sealed it off, and now I'm going to uh, also uh, check the wires. I did this earlier, and they look good. So uh, yeah, they also kind of taped the wires up. So I think it's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that a little bit right here, and uh, then we'll kind of set it up here with some tape. Okay, there we go door will go on right here it's off the ground I think we're good let's go ahead and uh, try it out all right so I'm gonna set that there I got the camera set up here I'm gonna go turn the breaker on I don't know if it's gonna make a noise or what so um, I'll have to check the camera in just a second
All right, so we do have a little bit of a humming. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the fan on. I'm gonna set up here and I'll come back down and check it. I could hear it come on from upstairs, and sure enough, and it's uh, blowing. There's our filter, we're probably going to go ahead and change that out. I have a new one right here. So I'm not going to mess with this anymore. Uh, I've got to take that off the ground and put the uh, cover back on. Just turn the just turn the fan off. I'm going to do a little vacuuming before we so putting the cover back on. I'm going to turn the fan on before putting the door panel back in place. But you yeah, have vacuumed all around here. I had a, a ton of loose uh, rust. I uh, haven't vacuumed here in a, a couple of years. So, um, yeah, not, not good to have the cover on and have a bunch of loose uh, dirt and rust because um, I'm expecting there's going to be quite a bit of vacuum pressure once this uh, panel is on here. Sounds good. Look, I can look at this. This thing just wants to really pull it. Check that out. That's how much suction. Vacuum. All right, so I'm gonna have to line this up. So I just turn the AC on. That's good. That has always been good, as far as I can tell. Uh, but with the new capacitor, we will uh, see uh, how it's working. Let's check the vent out. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Definitely cool. Wouldn't necessarily say cold, but it may get there. Uh, later so uh, yeah it's working it's working so far yeah thanks for watching and that is uh, placing this capacitor old capacitor that was uh, 21 years old 2002 uh, also I need to uh, make a note the magic marker uh, the date that I put that on there that capacitor for anybody else that wants to mess that's going to be messing with this myself included i don't know how long that'll last so uh, at least we'll know when we put it on so anyway thank you for watching until next time have a nice day take care